Rahman Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful, and the Everlasting Curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, before starting with this episode, allow me as usual to start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, O oh Allah, I have left the entire world for your sake, and I have also orphaned my children so that I can be with you. So if I am cut into pieces for your love, then my heart would never lean to none other than you. Our respected viewers, peace and blessings be upon you, and welcome to His Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday talking about some of the stories and events happened to him during his holy life, mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right, and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the last episode, we spoke about Imam Hussein alayhi salam being in Mecca, and we also spoke about the letters of support the Imam received from his followers in, in, in Kufa. However, in today's episode, we will talk about Imam Hussein's messenger sent to Kufa, Muslim bin Aqil. Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. Our respected viewers, when Imam al Hussein alayhi salam had dispatched Muslim bin Aqil, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, with his response to the people of Kufa, he told him, I am sending you to the people of Kufa, and very soon Allah the Almighty will decide whatever he likes for you. I hope that both of us attain the exalted position and distinction of the martyrs. Therefore, seek the assistance of Allah and begin your advance to Kufa. When you arrive there, stay with the most trustworthy person from among those people. The journey, however, to Kufa was arduous for Aqil. Upon setting out, he traveled first to Medina to pray in the mosque of the Prophet of Islam and also to say goodbye to his family. He hired two guides to travel with him and the messengers as well, and together they left for Kufa. But on the way, they went astray from the correct way, and when they found their way again, they were afflicted by severe thirst from which their two guides had passed away. Our respected viewers, Muslim bin Aqil, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, dispatched one of the messengers with a letter to the Imam, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, informing him of these two marginal events and their condition, saying, I have taken all of this as a bad omen for my mission. If you consider it so, you could relieve me and send another in my place. After some time, the messenger returned with the Hussein's reply, I worry that you urging me in your letter to relieve you from the task for which I have appointed you is only out of fear. Therefore, continue with the task to which I have assigned you. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born, and when you were martyred, and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather Al Hussein bin Ali when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet again, thank you very much indeed. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.